hey guys so i'm officially in my second trimester i am now well today i am 15 weeks let me give you a bump preview so this is where we're at so far Move the hair up a bit. so i'm currently 15 weeks still fitting in my size 10 as well i just went up to size 10 about three weeks ago but I'm not buying maternity clothes I didn't last time and I refuse to this time. So these are the pills I'm currently taking. These are always good to take when pregnant. These I'm having to take because I am anemic. I was anemic because my last pregnancy and I'm anemic again. My iron is very low. So I'm having to take these. And then like last week my midwife called me and said that my blood levels are low so my blood's not getting thin enough to go to the, my placenta to get and it's getting to the baby slow so i'm now having to take aspirin two a day at first i didn't know how to feel about taking aspirin because i was thinking isn't aspirin like for like pain relief but then I spoke to a few friends that were previously pregnant and I spoke to some mummy group I'm in on Facebook and I basically asked them has anyone else had to take aspirin and they just reassured me really it's all for the baby's sake and it's safe. So I'm having to take the aspirin until I'm 36 weeks which is basically the entire pregnancy. So yeah, currently drinking loads of water some orange juice I got with my McDonald's breakfast and studying. Yeah, recently, well, not recently, back in June, like when all this COVID stuff was happening, I decided to leave my job because childcare, like childcare facilities were getting shut down. So I decided to leave my job and then start university because I just finished the college course. So I'm now doing a three year course in uni, studying to be a teacher. And then I have another year to do after my three years, so four years in total. And then I'll be a qualified teacher. I'm, I'm quite excited about that, really. It's kind of weird not working because I've been working since, since ever, really. I've never not had a job. So now it's a nice little break, but I must say I miss working. I think once the baby comes, I'll find like a part-time job. So yeah, stay tuned. So we're getting ready to go to my gender scan. Running a bit late, but that's nothing new. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Anything to say? Hold on, are you wearing an XTLC t-shirt? Running late as usual, dripping off eyeliner. So I made it to the hospital with four minutes to spare. And now I did not get time to do my hair or anything, but yeah, today I've got my blue pulse blood test. So let's go. So we're getting the same route route through here to the other side of this. I literally have one minute to spare, so I'm literally walking so fast. I can never get to appointments on time. Story of my life. So I am in the second lift. Here's Bump wearing Daddy's jumper. So I'm in the second lift. I've basically made it. I am back. This is the last part of my trimester two video. I am 26 weeks, 27 weeks next week, and you start trimester three at 27 weeks. So I'm gonna talk about my gender scan. It went really good. Baby's healthy. Daddy got what he wanted. I'll talk about that in my trimester three video though. Also I wanted to talk about the glucose test. When I had Isla and I done the glucose test, I was basically at the hospital for like seven hours because you have to drink some glucose drink take loads of blood tests oh yeah you have to fast the day before so you can't eat from 12 12 a.m which is late anyway i'm normally sleeping but last my last pregnancy i was literally at the hospital for like seven hours 
drinking a drink every couple hours and taking blood tests. This time when I went, they literally took one blood sample and told me I can go home. So I'm not sure if the drink was even necessary the last time, but due to this pandemic, they're doing stuff a lot different. Yeah, let me show you guys my bump. Do a little update. This is it, the clothes on. And this is my cute little bump. It has grown a lot. The baby is a night baby. When I'm telling you how your baby is in your belly is how your baby is when it comes out. And I know I'm gonna have a lot of sleepless nights this last time. I don't, I don't know, she was such a good baby. Like when I say good baby, I just mean she sleep in the night time. Like she sleep through the night from early and stuff like that. But now I know this baby's gonna be like complete opposite to her, but I'm actually looking forward to it because it's been four years since I've held a newborn baby. Well, I've held babies like a couple of months because my friends are now having babies and I'm so excited that I'm not the only one in the mommy club, but I haven't held like a newborn fresh baby in so long. I'm kind of scared about that, but I'm actually looking forward to it. So I mentioned last time, like a few clips back, that I left my job and I'm doing uni. Like we're now in January. My uni course don't start back until February the 1st, but because we're in this pandemic, pandemic, I keep saying pandemic and I know it's pandemic, but I don't know if it's because of panorama or what, but I always say pandemic. But because of this pandemic, everything's online, which it kind of benefits me a lot because I am pregnant, so I don't have to travel a lot. So it's actually kind of be better for me that it's online. And I've actually got results back from my last two modules and I've passed. So I'm actually very excited. Yeah, I chose to do a childhood course because I think I like teaching kids and it will be good for when the kids do grow up so I can have like term time holidays with them. So yeah, that is what I'm doing in uni. So yeah, I have a cooking business where I sell food but I haven't been doing it a lot recently because I'm, I can't bother to be on my feet that much so... During this pandemic, I decided to also start doing um, a mink strip business. So I now sell strip lashes. I'll put the Instagram up here. So yeah, now I sell mink lashes. The lash page is called me versus her lashes. So if you are looking for some mink strips, look that up. But I'm not wearing any now because I'm just in my house. I don't do much these days. I go shopping for the week and then stay home all week. So yeah. Don't really do much, really. Sorry, I am back. I don't know if my lips look dry to you guys, but some of do. Does my lips want to look gross on? So, yeah, that's what I'd be doing. Nothing at all. So, I think I mentioned in Trimester 1 video that I had, like, bad morning sickness. Like, the morning sickness I had, I wasn't vomiting. I just felt like I wanted to. I couldn't smell raw meat. I couldn't. That's one of the reasons that I just stopped cooking as well. But now it's all back to normal. Now all I get is just acid reflux. Like if I sit a certain way, lay a certain way, I feel like I'm going to be sick. But I'm never sick. Like I'm not physically sick, but I feel sick. Acid reflux is not nice at all. One of the things I can't wait to go away. I am actually excited for the arrival of my baby. I live is excited. We've already got a name. We've already started preparing the house. Even though I do expect to move once the baby is here. And I can't wait to do that. Cannot wait. So yeah, that's all really about my trimester too. It's pretty boring. Not being able to go anywhere i can't really do much shopping i've been ordering stuff online and i will be showing you what i've got for the baby so far in my next video but thank you for watching and that's all for trimester two really